eskerrik asko e, mintegia o antolatza gaitik. It's, uh, I think it's a great idea uh, to give us a lot of very good ideas. Okay, so I'm going to read my, my speech about how to build bridges among, among young people. Our Basque diaspora is changing. We are evolving. Not that long ago, many Basque people chose to immigrate away from the bad living conditions in the Basque country to find better opportunities in other countries. Today, we have some of the best living conditions in the entire world with ample opportunities for one to develop their family life and professional careers without leaving the Basque country. During the years when immigration away from the Basque country was common, the Basque diaspora grew incredibly all over the world. Once they were settled in their new lands, a significant number of Basque immigrants then gathered together with each other to create new communities and new families as a way to keep their emotional ties to the Basque country alive and strong. Basque culture and language was a great treasure for all of them, and they kept it alive in their homes, transmitting their language and identity to other to their descendants. Nowadays, everything is changing. Basque immigration is not like it used to be. Not very many people are leaving the Basque country out of necessity to find a better life. And therefore, in our di diaspora, it's not easy to create new families where the mass emotional tie to the Basque country keeps alive. The opinion that Mike Pidard, a well-known figure from the Basque diaspora in the US has on this issue is very clear. We had the opportunity to speak about this topic and when asked about how he felt the future of the Basque diaspora in Chino, USA, could be in the future, his answer was very clear. Chino Euskal Comunitatea, gelditzen dena, oso azkarra, oso bizkorra, familia bat bezala lotuak. Naita ez, ez badira beste Euskaldunekin eskontzen, Euskaldunak hemen sortuak, Euskaldunak ez direnekin eskontzen direnak, galtzen da Euskera. Luzaro ez da eldu odol berria, nire ustez galduko da. The vast diaspora is facing a crucial moment that I believe is key to the survival of the Basque community in the United States. As Mike Vidar reminded me, there is no new migration coming from the Basque country like there used to be. This means that it is very difficult for Basque people born in the USA to meet other Basques and continue developing, living and celebrating their Basque heritage. Moreover, new generations of Basques in the USA have a lot of attractive opportunities to explore in a country, in a country where anything is possible. I'm sure that there are a lot of things we can do to improve our presence in the world. However, I'm also quite sure that we need to provide more opportunities to the youth who are Basque descendants and are not active in their local diaspora community because they haven't had the chance to get close to their ancestors' culture and their way of life. Perhaps, even worse, they may, they may just view the Basque country as the old country that their parents are, or grandparents continue to speak of and not a land and a culture of their own. Without the youth, there is no future. So what are we offering the youth of the United States as opportunities to connect to the Basque country? It is clear to me that both the youth of the Basque American diaspora and even all of us in the Basque country can benefit by building more bridges between us. Formal contacts and institutional programs are of course of great importance and should continue. The past government has been offering a variety of successful programs to create a good relationship with our Euskal Echea. We also must consider how we are living in the new world where young people are maturing with an infinite number of choices as they decide how to live out their life 
and what includes on their path. In my opinion, it is necessary for us to develop new and complementary options that could take our successful efforts of the past even further to help cultivate a strong and close relationships among young people from our diaspora and the youth of the Basque Country. We need to arrange close contacts and experiences for our youth both from both sides to create links of friendships that can last a lifetime. If we are able to build hundreds of relationships based on true connection and friendship, the result will be hundreds of bridges that all together will open new opportunities and ways of collaborating in the future. We need to open our doors to the future. One way we can do this is by opening our doors and our families to young people coming from the diaspora willing to learn and live a Basque experience in the Basque country. The inspiration, the inspiration of this proposal comes from the Boise Onyeit exchange of the 70s, when the Boise State University Basque Studies Department took Idaho students to Onyati, Guzqua, to immerse them in daily life and learning in the Basque country. In 1974, Pat Bitter, a professor of Boise State, at Boise State University, proposed to carry out a program that made it possible for young North Americans, the majority of Basque origin, to stay in Onyati. Thus, the union between Boise and Onyati was created. For seven years, 400 young people traveled to Onyati to learn Basque and immerse themselves in Basque culture and life. Dr. Peter, of Irish origin, was married to a Basque woman, Eloise Garmendia, and they deeply loved Basque culture and Basque country. They got financial aid from the State of Idaho Board of Education, and in September 1974, 75 young Americans arrived in Onyati. It was not an easy time to start. Franco was still alive, and some, pe some people in the Basque country believed they belonged to the CAI. The stays in Onyati of young people who came from America uniquely contributed to awaken the instinct of the Basque community of Boise today. This pioneering program demonstrated what possibilities could result from expanding the concept of the Basque community beyond the Basque territories of Europe. Dr. Bitter's pioneering idea became a very successful program with hundreds of students with Basque ancestry taking part. The project undoubtedly contributed to a strengthening of relations, between, of relations between the Basque country and Boise. Several students even returned to a new life in the Basque country as American immigrants. Currently, Boise State University hosts the USA's largest undergraduate Basque studies programs, which offer courses in Euskera, culture, history, politics, and study abroad opportunities in the Basque country. The Boise State Basque Studies program that began in 1974 brought over 400 youth from Boise to Onyati over the following seven years resulted in many well-known Basque diaspora projects, community leaders, and even marriages between those who met while participant, participating in the program. For a person like me who loves Basque taxes, one beautiful output of this program that it is, it still remains active is the connection between former Onkari dancers from Boise and dancers from Onyati. In fact, Older Uncari dancers years ago started another dance group named Boise Onyati Danza Taldea, whose only purpose were every year is to dance corpus dances during San Ignatius celebrations. To the best of my knowledge, this only happens in Boise. <clears throat> it is time to broaden the Boise Onyati exchange experience into a program for the whole Basque diaspora of the United States. Of course, this experience could also be offered to Basque diaspora in other countries. The pandemic is affecting us dramatically, 
and the program cannot be developed this year, but we have a wonderful opportunity to work together and offer it during the summer of 2022. Atea Kirepki program seeks to spark lifelong connections and, friends, and friendships to grow and strengthen the Basque community of the future. We want to create and strengthen relationships and communication channels that can be strategic in the medium and long term. Our proposal is to create a network of families willing to open their homes to young Basques of the, di of the diaspora. That is the reason why we call the proposal Atea Kireki program, Open Doors. We want young, young people coming to participate in the program to feel like if they belong in the Basque country, to feel like they are at home. To accomplish this goal, we would like to offer them the opportunity to, lie, to live with families that have sons or daughters of similar age who speak Basque and who are willing to consider these young people as one, as one of their family. For this reason, Basque speaking areas will be prioritized and facilities available in those areas will be used. Once we have the youth at home in the Basque country, we also plan to offer a complete program that includes courses about these topics, Basque language, music, sports, Bertzolaritza, dance, gastronomy, institutional organization of the Basque country, industrial network, education system, science and innovation network. Of course, our visitors will also have the possibility to experience the fiesta atmosphere and visit emblematic places of the Basque country. Atea Kireki 2020 overview. This program was supposed to be launched during summer 2020. The evolution of the pandemic prevented this celebration, but the organizational work carried out allowed us to draw important conclusions. We were able to test the interest that young people from the USA Basque diaspora could have. The answer was amazing. We worked jointly with Goyeki, Development Agency of Goyeri, Maispide, City Councils of Goyeri, Gipuzkoa Provincial Council, and NABO, North American Basque Organization. I would like to point out the evaluation that NABO made during its meeting on October 2020. In summer 2020, we plan on a youth exchange program in Goyeri, Gipuzkoa for 50 youth from our USA bus communities aged 16, 25, to live with host families, explore the bus country, and study bus culture and language at the Maispide Barnetegi. Unfortunately, the global pandemic of COVID created realities in the bus country and in the United States that halted the plans for summer 2020 and make the possibility of the 20. 21 summer program announced at the present moment. Nevertheless, we consider Atea Kireki 2020 a huge success. The registration period of, to participate in the program opened on February 1st, 2020, and we have 54 registrations in the first 20, 21 days, which created the need for us to open a wait list. Participants only needed to pay for the flight ticket, no registration fee was needed. I have to say that most of the young coming were coming from California, Nevada, and Idaho. Okay. Conclusions. Strengthening personal family relationships among young members of the Basque diaspora in the USA and Basque citizens is, in our opinion, one of the best proposals for the future that we can make to improve our international presence. The continued offering of a program like Atea Kireki will undoubtedly give long-term results. Could you imagine how many new relationships can arise? Could you imagine what these young people who, thanks to this program, immerse themselves in the Basque culture and way of life 
can offer the Basque Country throughout their professional lives? What ideas and new technologies or advances could come from discussions around the meal setting with such a variety of perspectives? This is a proposal to do it together. It is a collective project where institutions, families, participants, local organizations play a key role. Together, we can offer an attractive proposal lasting over the time and with an eye on the long term. Where will participants be in the future? What professional activity will they carry out in 20 years? Today, we cannot know, but it is certain, but it's certain that wherever they are, whatever they are doing, they will be active people in favor of the Basque Country and its culture. The program concept was, has been tested, and we have been able to verify that there is a real demand in the United States for such a program. Working together, we can offer an unforgettable experience that will pay off immediately and long into the future. Based on our experience, we think that this program could also have a very good answer in other countries where we have a significant Basque diaspora. I would like to finish my presentation adding an important reflection made by Argia Beristein, Beristein coordinator of NABO for Atea Kireki program. Basque American youth's connection to the land, sea, mountains, and streets of the Basque country is a major piece of this program. There is an important difference between those who feel Basque and others that may have all their ancestors of Basque origin, but will not step into an Euskaletzea. Those who feel Basque usually have trouble and spend a decent amount of time in the Basque country. They have made friends in the Basque country and they can see themselves on the streets of our cities. Those are the people who feel connected and work to keep our presence in the lives of Basques and non-Basque in the US. Atea Kireki can and would be successful even if the participants do, don't, do not fall in love or do not make lifelong friends. If they feel and experience life in the Basque country as it is today, rather than just hearing it from Amamas and Aichiches. This is what I have to say. Thank you.